Hey guys, and welcome back to Alone in the Dark 2008. When we last left off, uh, we fought our first big ass bloody monster, which <clears throat> wasn't too bad. And Kambi is. Room 943 awaits us. Yes, 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 yes. You know Room 943. Dreaming of a beer. That sounds good. Um, yeah, so we've got to go to room 943 after destroying this massive, great, big, hey, on the bloody side. thing. You're in great shape for an old man. Forgive me for not laughing. Mm. Dentures would fall out. Hey, lighten up. At least we can trust each other. You don't even know who I am, Sarah. Shit, I don't even know who I am. Okay, Got a point. Okay, I know this is hard on you, but God damn it. Do you think all this is easy for me? We both feel alone right now, believe me. Well, drop it. Lightbringer. Hello, Carnby. Here's a little hint for your memory file. Do you remember China? This isn't the first time I've had to track you down. I found you in... And that damn stone in your so-called sanctuary in Wol Wulong. I'll find you tonight. There's nowhere to hide. Theo is dead. Without him, you'll never bring back the Lightbringer. You won't be able to waste the stone's power on this damn prophecy. You're all alone, Carnby. Well, not entirely. I'm just one step behind you. Oh, Crowley. You do certainly sound like a piece of shit. What does that mean? I wonder, did you ever take Latin? I remember this much. Light is Lucis, and to bring is Pharaoh. So, Lightbringer is actually Lucifer. Are you suggesting that this is all about Satan making a comeback? That's what he said, isn't it? The Lightbringer and a prophecy about the stone. Well, I hope the prophecy starts telling us what the hell we're supposed to do about it then. Hmm. Well, I'm sure we're going to make that up as we go. So, let's have a quick look at the map here. Yeah, this is what I kind of was thinking. Okay, so this playthrough has now become significantly shorter because all of these missing icons here are actually routes that you're supposed to go to and throw bombs at and burn them. Each time uh, we burn a route, you'll see our spectral vision is now 100 over 100. Um, our spectral vision, we get experience points, I guess you could call it, into that. Uh, yeah. I was going to say what I could do is cut out all of those parts out of my original files and paste them into this but um <laughs> i've deleted my original files deleted them a long time ago uh right well to sum it up we have to go burn these roots i don't know how many there is i think there's like 30 or 40 of them and do you want to know what it is? It's a load of fetch quest bullshit. And that was one of the biggest things I was regretting about playing this again. Having to do all of those roots. They're massive great big tree trunks that are sprouting out of the ground. You have to go to the area. When you get into the area, there's a load of static and it's hard to see what the hell you're doing. And you throw a petrol bomb at it. And then you go to the next one. 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 And they are painful. But, uh, I mean, you can always Google them, I suppose, on YouTube and just look it up. But it's, it's shit. It was, like, not a great part of the game. It was about an extra three hours of padding. Because... There was no challenge to them, you know. It wasn't like you got to one of these routes and there was a boss fight. You didn't have to work anything out. You just opened a door, burnt it, moved on. There was no storyline there. There was nothing. So, we, thing is, we're not actually missing anything by not doing it. I can't believe that you don't, like... If you want to play this game again, you have to delete your entire save and start again if you want to do all of that stuff. 
I don't know why you'd want to do that again, to be honest. I've no I freaking idea why anybody would want to do any of that again. But uh, kind of a pain that I can't show off. Well, I, I will see what I can do. Oh, I, I can't recover the files though, that's the thing. They are deleted, they are gone. Okay, well, you just have to take my word on it. Uh, it really isn't a big deal at all. The game kind of makes you think it's uh, optional. Until you get to a certain point. Let's have a little look at one of these root areas. This is going to make this playthrough a bloody sight shorter, I tell you that. Because I had about four or five episodes of this game. that was just me literally driving around burning these roots. Yeah, you can stay outside. Now, these areas had enemies in them, obviously. Well, actually, no, not all of these areas had enemy, uh, enemies in. Quite a lot of these areas didn't have any enemies in at all. Really. But there is one area that I do want to go to, and it's the first root area. Have we got no bullets? No, we do have bullets. I was going to say, I had that bug a couple of times where for some reason I just couldn't reload my gun, even though I've got bullets. Right, let's just burn this door down. I'm wondering if there's going to be any kind of... Hey, friend. I think that guy was actually saying something to us then. But what we can do with a spectral vision is we can close our eyes and it will show the weak spots of the enemies. It's utterly pointless, but it is something that we can do. Oh, hello. I don't think I ever saw one do that before. But yeah, so there we go. We can see their weak spots, but it's utterly pointless because you can't actually shoot whilst you're in that mode. Are you going to reload or not? Are you just going to go through the, that animation like 1700 times? Oh, God damn it. I can't believe... I, things like that annoy me. I, on one hand, I'm like, yes, I don't have to do all that again. On the other hand, I'm like, well, this is a let's play. It's supposed to be somewhat complete. But there we go. As I said, to be 100% honest with you, you are missing exactly nothing from not seeing the root. The root was here. It was like coming out of the ground. I think there was three roots in this building yeah um but never mind it doesn't matter this is gonna <laughs> this is gonna make this playthrough a lot shorter oh you know i haven't had a, a let's play that i've actually had to scrap and start again in so long i can't even remember the last one i know i've had a few uh, i've actually had quite a few but I can't actually remember the last one. It was years ago. But it's frustrating when it happens. But And then when you think to yourself, oh, well, that's okay. I'll just, you know, go through it again. No big deal. But no. Apparently you can't reburn the roots. For some reason the game is just like, no, nah, we'll let you keep your fully maxed out spectral vision. Um... In a new game. I don't know why. I didn't know what was oh good. I'm sure you was terrified. I don't know why you'd keep your spectral vision. Because do you know what it does? It shows up those hidden white lines. On the enemies. Yeah that's it. That That is literally all it does. Uh, all this time that I spent. Hours going around getting all of these. We are going to try and find the improved gun though. Uh, I've got to try and remember where it is. It was actually <sighs> further back. Oh, God. Where was it? Um, shit. I might have to look up where this handgun was. It's the only other handgun in the game, and it's exactly the same, apart from it holds an extra four bullets in the magazine. Uh, but, yeah, I, I spent all this time looking forward to seeing what we're going to get out of this upgraded... Uh, spectral vision, you know, all these experience points and all that lot. 
And you got nothing. Oh, and there was one point where we're like over here completing this this task. No, it's actually over here somewhere, I think. I will point it out when we get to it. And you have to go all the way back. Right here to the beginning to get one of the roots. So this is gonna be a more streamlined playthrough, I guess, obviously. Right, let's go back, motherfucker. Oh Jesus Christ. Yep. Not great. Not great. And I think I have a rough idea that I remember where the handgun is. The thing is, like, you get the improved handgun really bloody fast. Shockingly fast. You don't actually have the 9mm for very long at all. There's another route location here. And as I said before, like, there's nothing interesting in these locations. There's no, like, um, logs or story or... Or anything like that. Yeah, neither can I. The fact that I'm glitched into the vehicle. I can't believe that. I can believe that's happening, actually. Uh, we restart. Yes. Yeah, that'll happen. You'll, you'll glitch out somewhere. And you'll get stuck. In the car. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't make me go for all this bullshit again. Right, one second, guys. I'm going to find out where this gun is, and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so I found one area where we've got a magnum. But, from what I can understand, this magnum can appear in several areas. So, there we go. We now have the magnum. And it does, from what I can understand, exactly the same uh, as the 9mm. The only difference is it holds 12 instead of um, 8. Yeah, holds 12 bullets instead of 8. That's literally the only difference in the game. So, apparently we can find it in a few different areas in the game. Once you've completed the game... I have been warned about a bug um, as we switch up to scenes and get further in the game. The handgun may disappear and it might get replaced with the standard 9mm, but we will uh, cross that bridge if it happens. Now, to stop my magnum from disappearing, I'm not going to skip ahead and I'm going to replay us up to where we should be. Now, if you're confused about this area, don't be. It's just an area where we could have um, taken out an evil route. But the only things here is a few enemies and a whole load of nothing else and disappointment. Enemies and disappointment. Now, this isn't where I originally found the Magnum on my playthrough. This is just uh, a random chance encounter from what I can understand. So... I'll catch you guys when I get back to where we were. So, let's go. Let's go and uh, get to the museum and see if we can shed some more light. Now we've got a magnum, anyway. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not sure if it's worth, like, that hour of bullshit to actually get the magnum. But, you know, it's extra bullets. I did read uh, in some of the forums that I was searching, and yeah, that's that's going back some time. Yeah, I had to actually check out some forums. Uh, that make sure everything's still going because my keyboard just got pushed. Yeah, um, lots of people actually apparently made it through this game without realizing there even was a magnum. Wow, I say lots of people. I mean. Some people mentioned the fact that uh, they didn't even realize there was another gun to get. And I was like, well, uh, I really, I thought the original pistol was amazing. I'm sorry, you did? I'm sorry for you. That's all I can say. Well, you know, I suppose I should be glad that somebody enjoyed this game. Oh, I remember this bit. My god, without having to get those bloody roots, we're going to be flying through this game. All killer, no filler. Jesus. 
So, it looks like we're going to have to bridge the gap. Luckily, we have just what we need. Um. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, we're just like over here chilling in a ditch. That's fine. Uh, okay, Sarah. Oh, you're going to come for this. Yes. Yes, thank you. Glad you're here, Sarah. Jesus. Yeah, I, I was actually trying to think back because I think we completed this game in like, I don't know, I think it was like 18 videos. And I know at least six of those videos, I'm pretty sure, was literally just driving around fucking getting these routes. I think halfway through my route extermination escapades, I decided to cut out the journeys between getting them because, like, literally nothing happens. Uh, so at least we don't have to worry about that anymore. All right. All right. Well, this thing doesn't exactly control well. Bloody hell! I'd forgotten how bad that was. But there we go. Let's stick this thing up in this very conveniently uh, Looks good. created. Now we just have to worry about the landing. Yeah. Funny enough. Oh, that might be why it's so hard to control. <laughs> We've got a corpse just like jamming up the wheels. Yeah, uh, one thing to add. When I played this originally, I got... I wouldn't say I got stuck here, but it took me a little while to work out what we were doing. And the reason for that is, for some reason, Sarah wasn't here. Oh, God. There you go, buddy. May you find peace in your eternal rest now. Yeah, she wasn't here, like, chirpsing on to me about doing stuff. So, I kind of had to just do all of this on my own. Oh, yes. I forgot about this. Yep, them again. Hold on! Hold! Um, oh god, hello! Um. Okay. Um Yeah, funny enough, I got that cutscene. But I didn't have her floating off into the distance like that. Okay. That makes significantly more sense. Damn, she got fucked up. Bloody hell. Look at the size of the baseball bat compared to her. Oh, hello. Apparently we got bloody humans too. Don't remember these guys being here either. But yeah, the 360 version uh, apparently is notoriously riddled with bugs and glitches, which yeah, yeah. Um. We certainly encountered some bugs and glitches. In fact, just me getting back here with this Magnum, uh, I encountered several bugs and glitches, including driving through the floor. Remember when I said it took me about an hour to get this gun? And all I had to do is go back like 15 minutes of gameplay? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yes, as the Arbiter would say, were it so easy. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, this game is a complete and utter buggy slideshow mess. But I guess that adds to the charm. Does that add to the charm? Do we still find bugs entertaining? I guess it depends on the type of bugs we're talking about, I suppose. Okay, so let's get weaponized, armed up. What have we got? We've got nearly 100 bullets, so we're good there. No point carrying half a bottle of explosive stuff with us when we can just, you know, load up and get fully filled. Now, ooh, look, we got some swings. Now that would separate the boys from the men. Jesus. Seems like a fun place to play. But we finally made it to the museum. Ah, yeah, these things. Okay. Yep, fishers. 
we actually do have to fight fishers. And that's what happens if they catch you. You've got to try and hold on to something before they take you into the next world. Oh, God. I think he's got us. Yep, so you have to kind of try and hang on to something. Which is way harder than you would think. But it's got us. We're dead. <sighs> that was on me. I totally forgot that thing was there. And that's how easy they are. Yep. If you have magical fire bullets... It takes one shot. One shot to burn them out. I don't know what those things are supposed to be. Um, we're not going to ask questions or question it. But yeah. Uh, they seem like they're going to be a significant problem. But they're not. As long as you uh, are ready for them anyway. Uh, nothing there. Nothing there. Yeah, oh, there we go. <sighs> Edward, I'm inside the museum. I fought them off and they dropped me, but I can hear them looking for me. Hide somewhere. I'll be there as soon as I can. Shit, they're getting closer. Oh, God. God damn it. God damn it. Yeah, we're going to take this express elevator to nowhere. Ah, here we go. Go take the world's slowest elevator up. Hmm, gee, do we want to go up or down? Let me think, Edward. Jesus. <sighs> they could have at least piped in some elevator music or something. I mean, come on. There we go. Yeah, I remember how slowly, like, I was walking through this as well, because I was utterly convinced that we would have, like, files or something to pick up, you know? But there just isn't. Alright, another fisher. Another fisher. Come on. Shoot wildly. There we go. Ugh. These things, man. These bloody things. You don't actually fight that many of them, funny enough. There really isn't that many of them in the game at all. That fire would look pretty cool, but it's so low resolution now. I imagine back when this game first came out, it was pretty, pretty impressive. I guess we can set like a lot of this stuff on fire. I remember reading reviews where they said that you can really experiment and play with the fire mechanics. And you can do, like, really cool things. Uh, I I don't know what game they played. But I can assure you, there's no fire experimentation in this game at all. So, you know, what you see is literally it. Luckily, somebody's left some... Ooh. Now, oh, is this a fire extinguisher? Yeah, it's just a fire extinguisher. Is there... Bullets, nice. More bullets on the floor. There's a lot of bullets, but then this is set in America, so... You know, I guess that's standard. Definitely don't need the bandages. Now, even when you're fighting bosses and things like that, they never seem to inflict... Ah, uh, yeah. That's why we need the fire extinguisher. Yeah, so even in boss fights, you never really need bandages. They don't inflict deep wounds like that. The only time you ever get deep wounds inflicted, from what I've seen anyway, is when you blow yourself up. Which happened actually quite a lot. <laughs> Way more than uh, the enemies actually killed me. Because the standard humans or zombies are... Like, they're no threat, really. You actually have a surprisingly large amount of health in this game. 
The only thing that really kills you are the cheap instant one-hit kills. Uh, of which are not super common, but they are in the game. And they are bloody annoying. There we go. Let's put out all this bloody fire. These can't be. Maybe you should have been a fucking uh, fireman. Would have been paid well. But then I suppose, you know, Demon Hunter. Wait a minute, aren't all fire crews volunteers? I can't remember. Oh, hello. Yeah, let's just throw that. Wait, what is going on? Yeah, we're on the way. We're 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 moving at the speed of light. Yeah, not sure why we literally just threw the bloody fire extinguisher into the fire. Kind of weird if you ask me, but hey, whatever. Uh we've got another fire extinguisher there. There's nothing really here though. Let's go. Do we have right, let's fuel up our bullets. Ah, let's reload and fuel up our bullets. Got to make sure we have maximum firepower at all times. Because you never know when you're going to bump into some nasty bastards. Kind of like here. Right, this is like big king dick of humans. Yeah, he, th he throws bone at you. He's got like a close-up attack as well, like all the others. But don't worry, if you think he's hard, um, if you think he's any kind of challenge whatsoever, he's not. Because there are no challenging fights in this game. At all. You dead? Not quite dead. Uh, you'll notice... So basically, you have level 1 humans... Which you can shoot once. You have level 2 humans. Which have two fishes on them. And then you have these guys. This guy here. He has three. He's got one on his back. Which can be kind of a challenge to get. But. Not really. There are more than one way to skin a cat. Yeah that got him. You just got to cheese the game so you can actually get at his back. Uh, we're probably a little bit wounded. Yeah, not too bad. But the thing is as well, you actually have like a dead red state of health as well. Uh, the screen will go black and white for a few seconds, which indicates that you're near death. Now, you can... Uh, if you can, I should say, just avoid taking damage for like literally a couple of seconds. You will uh, regen like your last 10% of health. So, yeah, I mean, oh, the we didn't even have to put the fire out. The fire's just gone out. So, yeah, I mean, actually dying to the standard enemies is a bit of a challenge. It really is. There we go. I mean, look at this guy. Thinks he's some kind of fucking iron bollock. See how hard it actually is to hit that fissure? Yeah. Should I just show you like a really easy way of defeating every single enemy in this game? You want to have that and you want to have that. There you go. This is lit. Oh god. I've never seen him do that before. This combo is literally the easiest way to defeat any enemy. Ah, we've run out of actual stuff. But the point still stands. Like, that is literally the best way of taking out anything in this game. It's pretty much a one-hit kill. These guys are a little bit... Oh, God. These guys are a little bit more delicate because they have... See how much damage we're taking? Oh, look! Look, he actually put us in a dead red state. There we go, guys. I've never seen an enemy do that. And that's only because we're pretty much just pissing around with this guy. Look, he's literally just standing there. Watching us. Literally just watching us kick his ass. Okay, so. Uh, ooh. 
not sure what we're looking at. Oh, more petrol. Nice. So we are pretty injured here. This didn't exactly go the way we wanted it to go, but I was trying to demonstrate a point. Uh, anything in there? Now, bandages are never that far away. At least from what I can remember. We don't actually have any. That's fine. So yeah, this black and white, like, dead red state that we're in. It Oh, we can, we've got to smash this open, haven't we? Well, we could either smash it open or just blow it open with one of these many bottles. Did I mention that this is how we accomplish everything in this game? Oh, maybe, maybe, hang on. Maybe there are just certain doors like that one that we actually need to smash open. That could be a thing. Kind of makes sense, I guess. Right, let's get this rammed down. Eh. Oh, God. There we go. A couple of taps. Yeah, I'm sure this felt like a really cool idea and, like, really impressive. You yeah, know, when this game actually came out, but it's just... It's so bad. All right, Sarah, we're coming. We're coming. We're on the way. And there she is. Apparently. Oof. That does not look good. Yeah. That really does not look good. And we're out of time as well. Can you guess how we're going to get Sarah out of her predicament? Any idea at all? If you guessed we're going to throw explosive bottles at her, because that's the only mechanic in the game, you're correct. So, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.